Hello children. Today we are going to learn about addition and its properties. What is addition? Addition means adding two or more similar quantities together. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. In this example, in the first box there are one, two, two balls. And in the second box there is one ball. Now we need to find out that how many balls are there in all. And for that we need to add. And while adding, you will also notice that the objects are similar in nature. So now let's add them. So I am adding two balls and one ball. So the total number of balls that I have is one, two, three. Three balls. So children, two balls and one ball is equal to three balls. The symbol for addition is the plus sign. So children, let's have a look at a few examples using this sign. In this example, there are one, two, two balls plus one ball. Now let's add all the balls together. One, two, three. So there are three balls in all. So two plus one is equal to three. In this example, there are one, two, three birds. And then two more join them. So now we need to find out the total number of birds. And for that, we need to add. So children, the sign for addition is the plus sign. Therefore, three birds plus two birds is equal to let's count them one two three four five five birds so three plus two is equal to five now let's have a look at a few keywords that let us know that we have to add the given quantities Add sum in all altogether total plus. These are the words which help us to know that we have to add the given quantities. We must always remember that the sum obtained by adding two numbers is always greater than or equal to the larger number. In this example, there are one, two, three, three little teddy bears and then two more join them. So now we need to find out the total number of bears and for that we need to add. So three bears plus two bears is equal to, let's count them, one, two, three, Four, five. Five little teddy bears. So, three plus two is equal to five. Now, children, if you see the answer, it is number five. And the number five is greater than both the numbers that we added. So, five is greater than number three. Therefore, the answer that we get here on adding is greater than the numbers that we added. In this example, in the first box there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 presents. And in the second box there is no presents, which means 0 presents. So now we need to find the total number of presents. And for that we need to add. So 4 presents plus zero presents is equal to one, two, three, four. Four 
value. So 4 plus 0 is equal to 4. Now children, if you see the answer, it is number 4. And number 4 is equal to the number that we added. So the answer that we got here on adding is equal to the numbers that we added. So children, always remember that the sum obtained by adding two numbers is always greater than or equal to the larger number. Now let's understand the properties of addition. The first property of addition is adding zero. When zero is added to a given number, the sum is the number itself. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. In the first box we have 1, 2. We have 2 candies. And in the second box we have no candies which means 0 candies. Now let's add the candies and see how many candies do we have. So 2 candies plus 0 candies will give us 1, 2. 2 candies. So children, whenever 0 is added to a given number, the sum is the number itself. As you can see below, 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. In this example, in the first box there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 books and in the second box there are no books which means that there are 0 books. So let's count the total number of books. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 books plus 0 books is equal to 6 books. Now let's revise this property with some more examples. 15 plus 0 is equal to 15. 25 plus 0 is equal to 25. 18 plus 0 is equal to 18. 7 plus 0 is equal to 7. So here we can see that whenever we add 0, to any number, we get the same number. The second property of addition is adding 1. When 1 is added to a number, the sum is the successor of that number. Now let's understand this better with an example. The first box has one flower pot. And the second box also has one flower pot. Now we need to find out the total number of flower pots. And for that we need to add. So one flower pot plus one flower pot will be equal to one, two. Two flower pots. So children, one plus one is equal to two. So 2 comes just after 1. So children, whenever we add 1 to any number, we get the number which is just after it. In the first box there are 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 cats. And in the second box there is 1 cat. Now we need to find the total number of cats. And for that, we need to add. So let's count the caps. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 caps plus 1 cap is equal to 5 caps. So 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. So children, here you will see that 5 comes just after 4. Therefore, 5 is the successor of Four. So whenever we add 1 to any number, we get the number just after the given number.
Now let's understand this better with some more examples. 27 plus 1 is equal to 28. Now 28 is the number that comes just after 27. So 28 is the successor of 27. 13 plus 1 is equal to 14. Now 14 is the number that comes just after 13. So 14 is the successor of 13. 19 plus 1 is equal to 20. Now 20 is the number that comes just after 19. So 20 is the successor of 19. 22 plus 1 is equal to 23. Now 23 is the number that comes just after 22. So 23 is the successor of 22. The third property of addition is the order in adding two numbers. The numbers can be added in any order. The sum will be the same in both the cases. Now let's have a look at some examples. In this example, there are one, two, two lamps plus one more lamp, which is equal to. Now let's count the lamps. All together. So one, two, three. So there are three lamps. So two plus one is equal to three. Now over here we have one lamp plus one, two. Two more lamps which is equal to. Let's count them to find the total number of lamps. One, two, three. So there are three lamps over here. So 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So children, in both these examples, you will see that the sum is the same, which is number 3. The only thing changed is the order of the numbers. Now in the first example, we have added 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. So the sum is 3. And in the second example, we have changed the order and now it is 1 plus 2 which is equal to 3. So the sum is the same in both the cases. But the only thing which is changed is the order of the numbers. In this example, there are 1, 2, 3. 3 stars plus 1, 2, 3. 4. 4 more stars. So let's find out that how many stars do we have all together. And for that we need to add. So 3 stars plus 4 stars is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 stars. So, 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. Now, in the other example, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 stars plus 1, 2, 3 stars. So, children, now let's find out that how many stars are there in all. And for that, we need to add the stars. So let's add them. 4 stars plus 3 stars is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 stars. So 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. So children, in both these cases, you will see that the sum is the same, which is number 7. The only difference is that the order of the number has changed.